they'll let us use theirs, and of course the parents were like, nope. Why do you say theirs? Theirs. Theirs. <laughs> theirs. Hi right, guys, uh, I didn't make a video last week because I was busy. So this week, I'm gonna be for sure making a video. Uh, what do we got planned? We got food. I think we're gonna get tacos and french fries, because that's a good combo. We've got a dog birthday party tomorrow. I don't know how that's gonna go. It's uh, Brittany's cousin's dog's birthday party. And Yuki's gonna make an appearance, so we're gonna be uh, stopping by there. It's just Yuki stopping by. We're not making an appearance. We are a party. What? Yeah. Wait, there's no other dogs? No. It's just Yuki? Yeah. Trust the other dogs. Wait, wait, she doesn't trust the other dogs, or she doesn't trust her dog with other dogs? She doesn't trust other dogs. the other dog she has. This is too wide. Okay, okay, so that's fine. Uh, and I guess uh, I'll go over a little uh, side project that uh, my buddy and I are starting. Okay, let's go. Let's get food. Tacos. Tacos first or french fries first? Tacos first? Okay, we're picking up tacos. Let's go. Go to the back. Go to the back. Come on. Yuki, come here. Come on. This way. Okay, go. Yeah. Go, go pee. Go, 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 go. You're gonna pee, right? Hold on. Go, girl. Okay, okay. First, we have to drop Yuki off, because you can't get tacos uh, with a dog. Here we go. Yuki poop. That's always good. Yuki having poops. For you dog owners, you must know the relief that it is when your dog takes a healthy dump. Okay, tacos, let's go. We got tacos. We have tacos. What was the place called? I should have. BMC. BMC? BMC on Henderson. It was three tacos for five bucks. So we got nine. Now we're gonna get french fries from KFC. Why am I talking like that? We're gonna get co coffee. We're gonna get french fries from KFC. It was, a, it was either a McDonald's french fries or KFC french fries, KFC one. There we go. Yeah, just order like a large order of fries because that's a box. Is that it? Yeah. You know what? Get a large popcorn chicken too. Get a large popcorn chicken! We're already here! I haven't had popcorn chicken since we started dating. Yes! What kind of a question is that? Yes, I want popcorn chicken. We don't normally get KFC because Brittany doesn't like KFC. But she likes her fries. So I get away, uh, get away with some KFC fries. Man! Popcorn chicken. Hi, can I get um, a large popcorn chicken and an extra large fries? Yeah, that's it. How much is it? Okay. Holy shit, 20 bucks. That's $20. Yeah, you think that one? Yeah, I am, but <laughs> god damn. 20 bucks for extra large fries? Maybe a large fries would have been enough. I want fries. You wanted the popcorn chicken. Yeah, I know. I know, but chicken. but a large fries probably would have been enough. I can eat a large fry at McDonald's, no problem. Br yeah, Br when they do fries here, it's like family size, you know? Like it's like so I could eat large fries I, by myself. Not from here. You could. Yes, I could. No, you eat so little. You eat like a chipmunk. You eat like four or five. I need extra large fries for sure. If I planned on sharing fries with you, I would have got an extra large okay box of fries. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. We got popcorn chicken and fries for 19 goddamn dollars. Jesus. Just look to make sure we actually have it. Yo, know, it's heavy. If, if if they gave us... Holy shit. Maybe a medium popcorn chicken would have been good. Well, you want a large. I know. So I... it's your popcorn chicken that's the problem, huh? Yeah, it's fucking huge. <laughs> Let's just pull it out. Yeah, let's pull it out. Let's pull out. Oh, there. Yeah, they're individually wrapped. That's not even impressive stuff. Look at this. Look at it. I fucked up. Look how big this is. Look at it. It's like a mini bucket. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to get on with the rest of the video. Okay, see you in a bit. Right here. Can you sit. Sit. Yes. Yes. No bang. Okay. Sorry, you just. 
That's good. Cool, cool. Is that okay, Yves? You want to check it out? <clears throat> Wash your hands. Well, I had another tip to give to you guys is don't eat a large uh, popcorn chicken from KFC to yourself. Man, I did not feel good after that. I felt so bad. I still feel a little blah. I didn't even have breakfast. It's like a, a cup of coffee and uh, that was pretty much it. I still got popcorn chicken in me. Yeah, nah, it does not feel good. So uh, Brittany's got a cousin who has a German Shepherd. Uh, I don't know, I think he's like eight, eight years old. He's got a birthday party today and Yuki's invited. Okay, Yuki, come here. I can't brush you. He's now, I've met the dog before, and he's nice enough to people. I've just, I've never seen him play or uh, how he's around with other dogs. Okay, Yuki, come here. Yuki, come here. Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous because I don't know how he is with other dogs. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping he's friendly enough. Yeah, Yuki's pretty good with big dogs. She submits rather quickly, but I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how, how he is, so we'll see. <laughs> it burned my mouth. Points of interest on her body while getting brushed is around her ears, behind her uh, behind her ears, around her neck. Because her and Caddy, uh, when they when they play, they like to bite each other in the neck and they get mats there. Also, what you just saw Brittany and I trimming around her uh, uh, pee hole is, because uh, she's got such long fur, it's uh, quite easy to mat. I don't like brushing that out because it's, you know, it's a sensitive part. I like to clean it with a damp cloth every now and then, but if it starts to mat, we like to trim it ASAP so it doesn't bother Yuki. You want to say hi to mom, okay. Yeah, she really hates it behind the ears. She doesn't mind anywhere else. It's behind the ears. And again, this is the right brush. Warm down cloth. You're good. You're good. Hey? Okay. I think you're good, Ukes. Ukes, come here for the camera. Show the camera. Come on. Right here. Thank you. Right here. Sit. Yes. Stay. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Walmart brush. Ten minutes. Boom. Boom. Ten minutes. Oh, yeah. 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 Jeez Louise. But yeah. Okay, now now is my rant. Now I'm gonna rant here. I'm gonna sit and talk. Chris, uh, my buddy, you've seen him a couple times. He flies drones. Drone drone flying for him is really fun. Uh, he wants to get more into cinematography, more like video production kind of deal with uh, with flying drones. But you can only go so far with the flying, flying the drone, right? Like, no pun intended, because radio and Wi-Fi range, you can go pretty far. But you can only do so much with drone flying. Part of the thing of cinematography and like, producing a video is like telling a story and like and getting like emotion and feelings and all this and all this other stuff. I also, after trying to get into vlogging and just like trying to record stuff, I've also gotten bit by this bug where I want to produce like a video and like pr like actually put music to it and like and use the skills that you would use to produce like a like a like a bit like maybe even a music video or a promo video or other videos that isn't just just straight up vlogging. Hi guys, today I'm gonna do this and I'm doing this right now with my dog and doing my dog. Like originally had it started with just wanting to shoot videos of my dog, then it turned into uh, something a little bit more. But now he wants to do more and I want to do more too. So what we had done is uh, we have a friend, her name's Raquel and she teaches paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding. So we had an idea to maybe try to put together a small promo video, just something to try out for us, for us too, like as much for us as it was for her. And we made this little, little video, which which is actually, it's on my, it's on my channel. I had posted it last week. So about the video. Let's talk about that video. It was a minute and some long. Uh, we had shot most, like most of the day. We don't know what we're doing. Like it's so obvious. After shooting and after him flying his drone and after after getting the shots that we thought we had, the problem is our settings. The sky was 
horrible. Like the sun was diffused because there was smoke, but there was smoke. You had really orange light coming in because of the smoke, shooting into the sun, shooting away from the sun, changes your white balance. You cannot shoot manual. I learned that lesson the hard way because my footage does not, ma it's hard to color grade. You can't make anything match. You're trying to connect shots together, it doesn't work. And then him flying his drone, shooting, I don't know what settings he was using, but it, I couldn't make it work to any degree. I, I couldn't apply even a simple LUT. Like Chris, you, Learn your settings, learn learn what you're doing. And I don't blame him, because it is hard. Even on this GH5, shooting in like aperture, like you you think like, oh, I want I want aperture control. But then uh, shooting in aperture mode, you lose shutter speed. Well, then you want to shoot shutter speed, but then you lose aperture control. Fine, you go full manual, but then your white balance is set to automatic. Well, you got to set your white, you got to learn the white balance. Strategy. And then here I am doing my first video, which if it was just for me, uh, would probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But now that I, I told Raquel, like, hey, Raquel, I'm gonna make you a video. It's gonna be awesome. And it, it was so hard. Now, if you watch your video, you can watch it. I'll link it below. If you watch it, it's super orange. The only color I could make work based on how the sun was and the exposure that I had set to and the color balance that was, or the, and the white balance that it was set to, atrocious. It was super orange. That was just a, that's just a quick rant about what Chris and I are doing. Uh, we think we're gonna do more. If anything, we're gonna do like, yeah, more promo videos. We have tons of skilled friends who do cool things. Allie is another target of mine. Hey, Britt, what about this? What do you think about this? If I do one of Allie, I guess we can't really use the drone for it, but we could. But you know how she makes gloves? Okay, so I'm thinking do like a little promo video of her making gloves, like start to finish making a glove yeah. and then, right? Because for her business, yeah. people watching this are probably just, you're all just my friends anyway. You know, Allie, Carlo's uh, girlfriend, fiance, I should say. After I practice a bit more and learn and learn my settings on, uh, on exposure and color balance and white balance, uh, is to do a promo video for her making a glove. And I love her products, like I actually love her product. I, lo I bought a pair, I bought a pair for Brittany. I'm gonna buy another pair coming up this winter because uh, I had thrown them in the dryer and it totally ruined the leather. I don't know if they can be restored, but. We did that for, for Raquel, that was fun. While we shot that for extra fun, cause we're all about fun, I did a little cut of her boyfriend who's also a really good friend of mine. Well, I did a cut of Phil doing paddle boarding and I put some dumb epic music to it and again, it's super orange because I shot in automatic and you never want to shoot automatic, but here it is, uh, give a look-see. And I'll end the video here. Um, then I'll, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I'll come back with another video. I don't know, I don't know what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna shoot or what we'll be doing, but thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy this cut of Phil doing stand-up paddleboarding. That's where I cut it. I know.